Good morning and welcome. Today I'm reading the book Haggai from the Old Testament. Haggai. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet unto Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jostak, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh. The Lord of hosts saying, This people say, The time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet saying, It is time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, and this house lie waste. Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Ye have sown much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. He clothe you, but there is none warm, and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways, go up to the mountain, bring wood, build the house, and I will take pleasure in it, and I will be glorified, says the Lord. Ye looked for much, and lo, it came to little, and when he brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why? says the Lord of hosts, because of mine house that is waste, and ye run every man unto his own house. Therefore the heaven over you is stayed from dew, and the earth stayed from her fruit. And I called for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the coin, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground bringeth forth, and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of the hands. Then Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and the son Joshua the son of Josedek the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord, and the words of Haggai the prophet, as the Lord God had sent him. And the people did fear before the Lord. Then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger in the Lord's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, says the Lord. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Jostek, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of people. And they came and did work in the house of the Lord of hosts, their God. In the four and twentieth day of the sixth month, in the second year of Darius, the king, chapter 2. In the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jostek, the high priest, and to the residue of the people, saying, Who is left among you that saw this house in, his first, in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes? in comparison of it as nothing. Ed, now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and by be strong, O Joshua, son of Jostek, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, says the Lord, and work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. According to the word that I covenant with you when he came out of Egypt, so my spirit remaineth among you. Fear ye not. For thus says the Lord of hosts, at once, it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, says the Lord of hosts. In the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Ask now the priest concerning the law, saying, If one bear holy flesh in the skirt of his garment, and with his skirt do touch bread, or pottage, or wine, or oil, or any meat, shall it be holy? And the priest answered and said, No. Then said Haggai, if one that is unclean by a dead body touch any of this, shall it be unclean? And the priest answered and said, It shall be unclean. Then said Haggai, And so is this people, and so is this nation before me, says the Lord. 
and so is every work of their hands, and that which they offer there is unclean. And now I pray you, consider from this day and upward, from before a stone was laid upon a stone in the temple of the Lord, since those days were when one came to a heap of twenty measures, when there were but ten, when one came to press fat for to draw out fifty vessels out of the press, there were but twenty. I smote you with blasting and mild dew and with hail in all the labors of your hands. Yet it turned not to me, saith the Lord. Consider now from this day and upward, from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, even from the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider it. Is the seed yet in the barn? Yes, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree has not brought, brought forth. From this day will I bless you. And again the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month. Speak to Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. I will overthrow the kingdom of kingdoms. I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathens. I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them. And the horses and the riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. In that day, says the Lord of hosts, hosts will I take thee, Sirubabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, says the Lord, and will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, says the Lord of hosts. The book of Haggai has only two chapters. It is one of the lesser prophets. Haggai is one of the lesser prophets mentioned in the Bible during the last times. So it's only two chapters. Here ends the book of the prophet Haggai.